the world's biggest problems are the world's biggest market opportunities. During the 19th century and the early part of the 20th century, on the heels of the Industrial Revolution, a number of individuals that today we call the robber barons amassed a huge amount of wealth. Folks like John D. Rockefeller, who created the oil industry, Carnegie, who cornered iron, Vanderbilt, who laid the railroads, and Ford, who created the modern day automotive industry. They exploited their laborers, they were influencing the government, and they forcefully acquired their competitors. But at the same time, these early robber barons created today's modern industry. And at the end of their lives, to make up for a number of dubious business practices, they began a practice of philanthropy. They built today's libraries, museums, and universities. In today's society, nearly $300 billion a year is given away in philanthropy, and much of that comes from the foundations created by those early robber barons. But today's modern philanthropists are a very different breed. I call them the techno-philanthropists. These are individuals who literally reinvented entire industries. Folks like Larry Page and Sergey Brin who created Google, Jeff Skoll who starred eBay, or Bill Gates who created Microsoft. As they look now at the world's problems, what they said is a better way to do this. Rather than giving money away, they decided to provide people with the ability to earn a living. Today's cell phone allows a Maasai warrior in the middle of Kenya to do their banking. The tools being developed by today's modern techno-philanthropists are empowering more and more people to solve the world's biggest problems. I'm someone who believes that it's during our lifetime we're going to be able to solve every grand challenge we have. Solve hunger, solve water, solve energy, solve healthcare, and you get a billion dollars while helping a billion people. The future is brighter than you think.